Greetings, I'm Barrent and welcome to Meet Me at the Table. We are going to be doing an unboxing today of Unbroken. This game is by Golden Bell Studios and Ultima Games. I'm excited to show you what's inside this game and I'm excited to bring this game to my channel. Unbroken is a solo only game. Now you could play with more than one players, but there is only one person that is going to be being moved around the board. So if you decide to, I don't know, think of what you should do together as a group and then do what, it's, what you do, that's fine. But this game is meant to be a solo only game. I do enjoy the premise of Unbroken, where you're with a group of adventurers that go down into this dungeon or down into the depths of something, and sadly, all of you meet your end, except for you. You are left alive, and you have nothing to your name, you're bandaged, you're bruised, but your spirit is unbroken. And so you need to try to gain the revenge of your and your party members by traveling back out and defeating some certain monsters that may have been the ones causing your death to your friends. Now let's go ahead and open this up and see what's inside Unbroken. So here we are with the shrink wrap off. Here is Unbroken, a solo game of survival and revenge by Artem Safarov. And we're gonna go ahead and see what is inside this game. Now this game is designed for one player, it takes about 20 to 30 minutes and is age 13 plus. So I'm pretty excited to see what else there is inside this game. Let's just look around the side of the box. Lots of neat art. And on the back, of course, it's gonna tell you a little synopsis about the game. So we're gonna go ahead and open it up and see what is inside. If we get inside this box, we're going to see, of course, the rules reference guide. That's always a good thing to have right at the front so you know how to play the game. I'm gonna to have to read through the instructions and we're gonna get this game to the table really quick. So it's got everything you need to know and it also shows you some of the classes in the back and what they're kind of gonna be able to do. Also a great glossary as it, I get a lot of glare, I apologize. That's gonna be good, I like having a glossary in the back to tell me what's going on. All right, that's gonna be the rule book. The next thing we have is this. I wonder what this is. So far it looks like a really cool looking poster. Let's see, it really is, it, it is, it's a poster. All right, I, sadly I can't put the whole poster into view, but it looks really cool. It's got a lot of the monsters and it looks like some of our broken characters are down here, it says right here, thank you for your supporting Unbroken. All right, that's awesome. I'm gonna maybe, I'm gonna, oh, I might hang this in the back where I do all my painting. Looks really cool. Next, we've got some of our tokens. We're gonna use these for moving up and down our character boards. I'll show you how that works. It also has a fox one in here too. We're gonna see how that works. It does have one six-sider that's not actually a real six-sider. It is six-sided, but it's also got a lot of really cool things. I like all the little scratch marks. Those are gonna be your numbers you're gonna be using. Now it also has these pre-packaged cards. We're gonna go through each one of these sets of cards. What else do they have? It has a really cool bag. Look at this thing, it's a felt bag. Oh, and it says unbroken. That's really, really cool. I like the bag. Oh, it's felt, and now I felt it. I felt the felt bag, there we go. All right, let's see what else we've got. It looks like we've got some references here. We're gonna go through these. We've got a score pad here, an unbroken, well, I don't know if it's just, yeah, I guess it is a score pad. Look, in the bottom it says score. So this tells us everything that we do. It's got a lot of little pads so we can play as multiple times. It's got a quick start guide to tell us everything we need to play the game and how we're gonna go about playing it. And we also have, here's our tracker. Oh, this, is gonna, this thing is gonna be awesome. All right, so it looks like we've got both of our trackers here, a resource tracker, effort tracker, monster tracker, our health tracker, and our time tracker, as we can read. If you can't read, then I'm glad I read that to you. But most people, <laughs> most of you could probably read. And that's, they have it actually indented, so you can put your tokens in there and you can slide them up and down. Now there's not, an, what, there's not an indention for each one of these, but you can slide it up and down. It's not gonna move back and forth though, it's just gonna slide up and down. I think this works out really well. So inside this pack of cards, it starts with our symbol guide for effort, small, medium, large. These are gonna be the way you're gonna perform actions are gonna be using the different types of effort. Also here it tells you what the resources are. And also down here, it also talks about what the dice numbers are. And then of course we've got our black fox again, he's everywhere. And then it looks like it's gonna have all our characters. So we've got the sage and each one of these characters have different powers and have different abilities that they're gonna be able to do. So here's our sage, we have our sneak, our huntress, our brawler, and apparently we can make a guy. <laughs> and then here must be some of the weapons. These are the weapons that we're able to slowly craft. You know what? I'm just gonna show you the bare hands one so you can see what it's all about. 
Now the bare hands, of course, is what you're going to start with, and it shows how much effort you spend. It's going to be able to do certain things to the monster you're fighting. So if you give this much effort, you're going to be doing one health. If you do that kind of effort, you're going to be breaking armor and things like that. Now, what you can do is we can upgrade our weapons as we go through the game. So if we find metal and we use this type of effort and that much time, we're going to be able to create a knife, which is probably going to be one of the next ones. Yeah, but I'm not going to show you those. We'll see those during the playthrough. I'm really excited to get to this game. I want to get to it so bad. Mm -hmm. All right, so those are the, what's in that pack of cards. Now, I've also got another big, thick stack of cards here, and this starts with our quick start guide, and it's going to guide us through our first game of Unbroken, I believe. And oh, it has two different ones. Look at this. Wow. What's Oh my gosh. What's this? Quick start reference travel phase. So it's going to go all the way through the travel phase. Oh, this is really good. It can tell me exactly what I'm doing so I don't mess things up. <laughs> then we got the combat phase. Okay, and it's going to tell me everything you need to know about that. And of course, here on the back, it shows you step by step. Did you do this? Did you not do that? Yes or no? Oh my gosh, it kind of looks like an ACLS. I'm sorry, I'm a nurse. I kind of we have charts and stuff like this all the time that we deal with. It's really neat. All right, so then we got our monsters. Level one, we got level twos, we got level threes. Let's look at a level one monster and see what it looks like. So our level one monster, here we got a giant spider. Let's just look at him real quick. And Sheb, I don't know what that means. All right, it's got three health and it has like an ambush ability and it has a trickery thing. I, again, I apologize, I don't know everything that's going on. But now if these things attack you, I know you're gonna be rolling the dice and based on what you roll, it's gonna do something to you. Now, if we kill it, this is what we're gonna get as a reward. So um, we're always gonna be fighting different monsters in this game, but I believe you go through four different monsters and once you complete defeat four monsters, you have made it out and have taken your revenge. So we have level three, and then we got, oh, we get achievements. Why not? I feel like I'm playing Xbox. All right, we got an achievement system here. Reckless, win the game after suffering a monster's ambush effect four times. Oh, that's kind of cool. So you get different achievements. That's kind of funny. I like it. Oh, we got multiple achievements. Wow, I might actually try for some of these achievements. That's pretty cool. So we do have all our monsters. We have our achievement tracker, and we also have our quick start guide here to teach us how to play the game. Now we're going to go through our skill cards. We have some new skill cards here. We've got lots of skill cards. All right, let's take a look at some of them. Oh, here's a blank one. You can make your own skill. Or as the game kind of upgrades, it might be able to have, there might, I think they're planning to print off some extra things for us, and we can just print and attach those to our skill cards. And if we sleeve the cards, then you don't even have to worry about it. It's got a lot of them. Okay, so here's some of the skills. So when you go ahead and gain a skill, you're going to be able to add this to your character. He's going to gain some of these abilities. So we're pros. After a monster's combat roll results in wound or dazed effects, spend one of these to ignore the effect. So there's different, all these different skills are going to be able to help you in some way. And that's, that's pretty cool. So we're going to see how these work during the playthrough. I'm excited to see some skills. Now we also have our condition deck. Now our condition deck is probably not going to be full of good stuff. Again, we got a blank one because they might be adding things to the game. We got paranoid and cursed and weakened and ar oh, then we got armored. That's not bad. I wouldn't mind being armored, but I don't want to be paranoid or poisoned. Crippled. <laughs> Crippled. That can't be good at all. All right. We could be afraid. I get afraid sometimes. All right. So here's a lot of our conditions. And last deck of cards is this huge giant deck of encounter cards. Oh my goodness. Now, the quality of these cards is really good. I'm really impressed by this. As you can tell by the sheen on them, they're really a nice, they feel really nice. Now, the game came with a piece of paper here that told me up in the corner here, please be aware that the encounter deck cards do not need to be shuffled for the first game. So I don't want to, really want to expose too much of this because they say the first in time you play the game, you're gonna go through and it's almost gonna be thematic as to how this all plays out. But then in the, in the future, you're gonna shuffle the cards together and create your own experience. So we are gonna look at the first one because that's gonna be what's gonna happen at the beginning of the game anyway. Now our encounter, we get right off the bat, looks like it's gonna be a giant flaming dragon. Well, I don't know what that is, but it can't be good. It says golden amulet. It's, and we're going to spend nothing to gain some stamina. That's going to be great. We're, it's going to take two time. So we're going to go ahead. So that's what some of the encounter cards look like. They're going to have some pictures up here. They're going to tell you some things down here and what you have to gain in, and spend in order to take advantage of it. So our encounter deck is absolutely huge. There's lots of stuff that happens in this game. But like I said, I don't want to go through it right now. We're going to go through it during the playthrough of this, and we're going to start at the very top one.
And that's really about it. I, it's all I got for Unbroken. Unbroken's a small little box, but it's got an absolute monstrous amount of stuff inside it. I'm excited to bring this to the channel to show each and every one of you how this game is played, and maybe you can go ahead and grab yourself a copy of Unbroken, a solo game of survival and revenge. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this unboxing video. If you did, please give it a like. Don't forget to hit the bell symbol, and you'll see when our Unbroken video series comes out. Also, please leave anything in the comments below. Have you got your copy of Unbroken? Did you even know about this game? And is it a game you might be interested in picking up? Again, thank you so much for watching. If you're excited to see what is coming next, then I need you to meet me at the table.